everyone welcome back to another exos heroes episode so today i'm glad to be back i'm glad to be here it's been what two weeks since i've been gone but today i have a very kind of comprehensive special tier list for you guys because in this tier list it's actually an expanded tier list which i included all of the fate cores um the journals in their uh, faded form and uh, mythic of course it's going to be misty but before we start this tier list guys i'm going to put a link in the description so you can actually access and see this tier list um through google sheets but um let's start with letter e so this um tier is actually needing a lot of work i won't i won't really um elaborate on this this is going to be a very long tier list if i do but we have here fc wilkes FC Eden, FC Nika, and FC Leafy. So if you've noticed, they are from the idol theme. And which, again, they really... Uh, with the exception of Eden, I think because he's a blue fate core, I don't, I don't think he's going to be reworked. But for Wilkes, Nika, and Leafy, I think they have to be. Because, again, they are not really, really good. And they need a lot of work. Okay? And we also have your FC Tupaki. Again, he's a blue fate core. Um, I don't expect him to be reworked. So let's leave him be. Then you have your FC Leungen, which again was reworked. But again, very underwhelming. And the last for tier E is going to be FC Dana, which she just got out. But again, I will forgive her because she is a blue fate core. But again, her kit is not that good. And um, she's not going to be used well in terms of P even for PvE. So let's move on to tier D. Okay, for your tier D, um, these budge is going to actually need a little bit of work to be good. Um, we have your FC Shakan who has been reworked already, which actually kind of good rework but really needs a lot more um janai i don't expect a rework because actually her fc is already good but for her fate form she's for d um, tier prithioff is here again also i don't uh, expect the, the the faded version to be rework so let's wait for his fate core then you have here fc bahar of course um but again um a lot there are a lot of there are a lot better heroes than her, um, especially with her abilities. I think she she does shock, so there are better um, heroes that deal shock aside from her. FC Glenn is also here. Um, Glenn, I think deals shock as well, but he is kind of he's kind of slow. Uh, no, he's not slow. He's actually in the middle in terms of speed, but again, his kit doesn't synergize well with others next would be fc monica i think monica has um i think stun as well or shock but again she is she's kind of there but not there yet she needs a rework of course fc Ulum, the black fc Ulum, is going to need a rework after she was released i don't know why they keep on putting out duplicate fcs because again the last time that they mentioned that they won't you know put out duplicate fcs which is actually good. Um, FC Reed Marie, I just put their RM because her name is pretty much very, very long. And FC Reed Marie um, did have a rework, but it was kind of a nerf from her previous FC. Hopefully, they would correct that and give her a better rework than she had before. She was actually very good, and she was she's actually she can still be used in PVE, but again. Um, I didn't like the nerf that she had during her last rework. So she is at tier D. You have here FC Kylock, um, viable with Brun team, but again, needs some more love. FC Bernabas has his two copies here, which doesn't surprise me, even though FC Bernabas is going to get um, this one, the, the gray one, is going to get a rework tomorrow. But again, the fate core is it has to have a certain again qualifier which has to be paired with rachel for this heart and so 
I don't see that very viable and she will remain with D as well as the new one for FC Bernavas. I don't know why they put out duplicate a fate course for them. I hope they keep their you know they keep their word when they say that they won't put out duplicate fate course anymore. And the last to round out tier D would be FC Nemeris, guys. Nemeris um over the fence again with him um needs a little love as well next would be tier c so for tier c these are the heroes that i think are viable um fc corgi is here um if you don't have any aoe dealers that are um that are red or are deal the what they call this the uh, or the deal, deal heat <laughs> so he is actually kind of good boundary of that fc yao is here she's a blue fate core but um if you don't have any attack buffers if you don't have fc more she can actually replace or kind of become a pseudo mores but not of course for the nombe but if you want to just want to use her for pv pve i think she would be viable as well you have here next is fc degas um again degas is just in C because again he's a frost hero and that is I think a drawback to him could have been in probably in B um, but that is actually uh, putting him down at C or tier C next would be FC Luke another tank um, again if you don't have Tantalo you could have him as your substitute not of course for PvP but for other matches for other pvp matches next will be fc valar um fc valar just needs a little more love um he was used before by dreadnought in pvp he can perform well but again he doesn't have that certain ability of oof to go over the top so next would be carry so carry obviously um, this is her faded version. She will get her FC soon. But again, if you don't have any um, uh, nullify heal in terms of Ramji, carry if you built her signature force is actually good as well. FC Deva, one of the previous, you know, previous heroes that have excelled in PvP, but now she can still be good in PvE. Okay, uh, previously good in PvP. Next would be Shufraken. So Shufraken's um, Fated Form is here because again, um, I don't like his S1 um, for the Fated version, um, but his S2 is still good. That is why he's still here at Tier C. Um, I think his S1 is actually self-heal, which kinda is not really relevant in terms of PvP. Next would be Rachel. Rachel is here again. But his FC form, you will see later because it's much higher in this tier list. FC Sabrina, um, she's a blue fate core. She's a fire element which deals AoE um, damage heavily. And she is again a viable substitute even if you have if you don't have the other again fire damage heroes um, similar to Corgi. You can use FC Sabrina for your team as well. Next would be Luna. Luna is here because, again, she, she just got her FC, but her faded form, good for revives. I think she can be viable in the future, especially for her FC. But for her faded form, she is actually here at tier C. And to round out our tier C would be FC Bernadette. So FC Bernadette, again, the drawback for her because she's a Frost hero, Summer's Blessing is really her, you know, crutch so more or less this rounds out our tier c next we go to tier b so for tier b these are your solid heroes guys i'm just gonna correct this one <laughs> i didn't have the opportunity to darken this okay so for your b these are very solid picks so you won't go wrong with them um they can you can actually build them probably up to mid game um mid game above or slightly above mid game because they can actually help you so much 
Schmid, Fated Schmid, again, uh, no worries on building him, especially if you get his FC. Garf as well, if you build Garf, um, not a problem as well. Very solid for Wasted Red. So, very solid FC as well. Bathory, very good general, uh, Fated as well. Um, good for Greenad, no, no, no reason not to build this three. They will help you in the early game, especially if you're a beginner. FC Valish with his recent uh, rework, I think is worth at B because I think it gives the opponent um, defense, uh, sorry, um, a deduction or, redu or reduction in defense. Next would be Emma. Emma is actually, I think, pretty good in PvP tag if you give her a chance, uh, chance as your front row, as one of your front row heroes. So again, she sacrifices herself. Very good support team if you have. I used to use her actually in PvP tag for the Nombe, but when FC April got out, um, she got relegated to probably the, your third team on PvP tag. Next is Legger. Legger with her recent buff, I think, is worth um, bringing, especially if you don't have any healers for Istoris. She can be a good build. Um, I'm actually still building her, trying to test her out. So we'll see um, if she can go from beyond that, um, you know, that average line going up. Next would be FC Ramji, the other version, not the blue one, the black faded, uh, the, the, the black fade core. This guy is actually viable if you swap him with your blue fade core, if you're going to use him, because again, he has core memory aside from the blue one but again he doesn't have your first garden skill so that is why he is at tier b um next would be fc otard again one of one of again the aoe damagers which um you know has similar damage to bathory for s2 next would be fc hecken fc hecken is actually um still viable in pvp tag because again i think he has pierce or piercing so uh, don't sleep on him if you have copies of him try to bring him in pvp tag these guys actually all of the all of the heroes that i'm discussing here are both viable for pvp and pvp tag so next would be fc anastasia so fc anastasia wants a mainstay in pvp now she's just probably one of the you know you could fit her in your top three pvp tag teams and she is still viable with um first dragon passives with her <laughs> tremendous heal and with her s2 s2 um offensive skill she can actually be viable still fc scarlet very very good um she has AoE in both skills, so S1 and S2. She can actually, you know, if she has flap flap, this both of her skills are actually very annoying. So again, she's here at um, B. And to round out our B is FC Chatty. So Chatty recently got a buff, and I think she is now good for PvP tag. Aside from being good in the dragon or holy dragon grounds um again um she is very good as long as you don't have uh, somebody on the other side to take off shields she is a very good support fc going next to our tier a so again your tier a is your old reliables they are they are above your above average heroes so you, you have your FC Loom again, the versatility in destroying Garden Stones as long as you have FC Battery. Um, FC Jin recently buffed and pretty much very good. Um, I use him because of the silence, actually, not, not so much for his damage. FC Ramji, still a very good, you know, mainstay in PvP because of Dragon um, Nullify Heal and First Dragon passives. FC Naomi, I've seen him being paired right now with Dorka um, in the top 50 teams. For Asia, um, I think a very good, uh, very good hero as long as you build his unleash potential. Very good support um, as well. FC Baraka is here again for mostly your. Um, um, he's usually used 
in uh, what you call this in your Linombe teams for PvP, but mostly they use um, the Black Fate Core Baraka. But he's a good substitute, guys, by the way, if you don't have Black Fate Core Baraka because of Core Memory. That's it. FC Gene is here again. <laughs> he is actually viable. I've seen him hurt a lot. In terms of damage, in terms of again um, increased damage with shields, very good. Um, as long as you have him built, he will wreak havoc for you, especially if you're bringing wasted red. Next would be FC Rachel, blue FC Rachel again, a substitute for your for your gold fate core FC Rachel. If you don't have the gold one, this form is actually still good at tier A. Next would be FC Lepin with the with the incorporation of course of misty and most of the players um building signature force for northward frosty lepin actually has seen action in pvp and um again she she's kind of annoying especially if you don't kill her early she can bring back the whole team and give damage immunity and what a headache she is actually fc brook is next fc brook again again I think has been very good, especially for North One Frosty. She's seen a comeback because, again, a lot of uh, players have been using North One Frosty because of Misty and developing Signature Force. And again, her, her passive is very annoying. The additional attacks are very annoying. And she is at tier A. Next would be FC Morris. So you have FC Morris here, of course, a mainstay. In PvP, in terms of your Linombi teams, he gives um, uh, uh, buffs for attacks. And again, don't forget he's a Banga, so he is he's going to be supreme in terms of his passive. So next would be, both are actually just your substitutes, but they are still very good. FC Rera, uh, Blue FC Rera, a good substitute for your Gold FC Rera if you don't have her. She is going to be still good in your PvP and also FC Garf. You don't have if you don't have blue a uh, gold FC Garf, the blue FC Garf would be a good substitute for her. Okay, next is going to be your S rank or S tier rank. These are your wingmen. It's like these are your Scotty Pippen to your Jordan. So again, these are wingmen. Um, very good. They can shine. They can score. They can assist. They can do everything, but they're not the alpha in their group. But let's start with Dorka. So again, Dorka will be SS tier when she gets her FC. I'm really sure about that. Um, she's actually performing well already at S tier with just her faded version. But again, after she actually gets her FC, I'm sure she's going to go to the top. Next would be FC Maggie. FC Maggie. Um, very good burst S2. Um, again, mainstay for Wasted Red in terms of PvP. Uh, very good hero. Um, not really fragile right now. She is a... But with Misty, of course, she's going to lose that shield. But again, she is still a good mainstay if you take care of Misty. And she is still there with the top heroes in Wasted Red. Next is FC Zeon. So FC Zeon is going to be still a mainstay in your Linombe teams for PvP. She, he is actually still also good in your PvE matches. Next is FC Adams. Again, FC Adams with his recent buff has become very viable in PvP. Also in PvE, I noticed, especially in the hard ones in your chapters, um, paired with Janai, he is going to deal a lot of damage. FC Shell again, very valuable in terms of your removing of shields, turn reset, mana, um, very, very um, versatile. And once I actually um, built um, Signature Force Restore, she is actually very viable and she survives well. Okay, with her in this tier is FC Iris, of course, with Flap Flap, Summer's Blessing, and the removal of shields. Um, you can no go, can't uh, go wrong with FC Iris, and she actually gives mana as well for her S1 for everyone. Right next to her is that's not RC April, <laughs> that's FC April. <laughs> Sorry for the typo. So more or less, uh, FC April is here. Um, 
a terrific wingman for FC Rachel. Again, um, the number would not be as effective if it wasn't for her. Okay. Next would be FC Annie. Annie, again, a mainstay. She's just sometimes substituted with FC Maggie. But again, if you manual Wasted Red, she's better than FC Maggie. We can do silence. <laughs> Tremendous amount of damage as well. Next on her side is FC Tantalo. Again, FC Tantalo, you cannot, you know, you cannot really put him down. He is actually still very good in terms of, um, what do you call this? In terms of being an all-around for PvP, for PvE, um, there are still a lot of teams bringing him in um, in PvE, especially in the top. At uh, PvP, especially in the top. And again, if you don't bring him in your PV PvP team, he is very good in your tag team as well. FC Zufraken, again, as I mentioned, has been elevated to uh, king status again because of again misty um the use of uh, north watch frosty has elevated him in terms of a lot of teams together with um together with valentina um for a while guys haven't seen valentina here <clears throat> okay i think I, I i left her out but um fc valentina would be at tier a i actually missed her out i forgot to put her in the tier list but again just to correct myself fc valentina if you have her guys she will be in a because she's so dependent on shufraken um she can't you know she can't be used on her own she will be in tier a shufraken or fc shufraken will be at tier s okay next uh, next will be fc luna so fc luna um with her fc she's going to kill it um her, she, you just have to improve her signature force she's absolute beast in terms of revives guys and try to build her um in a couple of months once we built her actually she's going to be kill it in terms of pvp she's going to be very annoying but now she is still at tier s next and last would be fc baraka which is one of the mainstays for Inombe in terms of pvp so again, he is here because he is actually very fast, kills, you know, in just his first attack and is actually very viable. He has core memory, by the way, that is why he's here over the blue fate core Baraka. And this rounds out our S. And our last would be, I won't take long, guys, for this video. So I'll just squeeze in the next time I put in the tier list, I'll squeeze in FC Valentina. But she's going to be in tier A. I forgot about that. And for tier SS, again, these are the cream of the crop. Similar to the last tier list that I had. So you have FC Garf, Redley, Talia Bathory, FC Herrera, FC Rachel, FC Janai, FC Schmidt, and a new entry to SS, which is FC Misty. Again, a lot of my bane would be I haven't gotten her summoned so much um and been the, um, you know the one of the unlucky ones not to get her but again um with people building north one frosty she is going to be also a pain dealing with and um she is actually in pvp already the top teams are using her for those who have gotten multiple copies of her and again she is actually very good very very good so damage immunity uh, you know she's a headache we don't deal with her and right now she's still squishy but again moving forward in the months to come i think she is going to be better than now okay guys i've taken so long of your time i'm glad to be back sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys um so so far this is the tier list for august so if you've gone this far in this video guys so please don't forget please consider to subscribe click that bell icon and also put a like to this video if you like it and guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm back